Uh, no, because those guys are pros. They do a great job of, of, of immersing themselves in the playbook. And um, they're really uh, you know, active in meetings in terms of asking questions. And, and um, both of them have done a great job uh, so far of, of, of really uh, getting a grasp of the playbook. What have you seen out of uh, Racy McMath so far? He's turned a few heads. Brable and mm -hmm. you know, Todd, and Todd and spoke kind of highly of him. Um, just what have you kind of seen from him you know, from, from the spring and getting into the training camp? How have you seen him? He obviously, he's got speed, he's got size, he got play strength, and um, and and all those things show up on tape. You know, he does a good job of playing through the contact. Uh, he's made some plays for us downfield uh, where you can sh showcase his speed, and uh, he shows a willingness uh, to be assertive in the run game. Are we correct to think that Marcus Johnson is really taking advantage of some of these opportunities here? Is he I, I would say so. I, I think he's done a great job uh, of really showing his versatility. Um, and doing all the things that we've asked him to do. So I, I would agree with that. What is Eric Freeze doing on top of what you're doing and what kind of resources he's bringing? Um, you know, he does a great job of, of getting some of these young guys that, that, that uh, really need to be immersed in the playbook and, and, and give them some extra time uh, to try and gather some better understanding of what we're trying to do in terms of having a big picture mentality with our offense so they understand the who, what, when, where, and why what we do um, and you know you know all the areas that you know sometimes you know he's just done a great job of having my back uh, so it frees me up to do some other things oftentimes there's been one guy here who's kind of been the fan favorite young receiver mm -hmm. it seems like you got here like five of those guys now. right and what's it what's it do competition wise and camaraderie wise to have those guys kind of slug at well, I think number one, it speaks to um, you know what a great job our scouting department has done, and, and really you know creating an environment where we got a lot of competition. Um, you know, which is which is you know we say iron sharpens iron. And these guys understand that each and every day they come out here, they got to compete because that next guy is, is on their heels, and maybe may, may even be surpassing them at some point in time. So um, you know, from that standpoint, um, you're only as good as your depth. And uh, I think we're working on that now. Can that literally change day to day and the end of the day? I mean, is that how you stack those guys? Ah, uh, yeah, it can. It's based on the performance. It's uh, you all know this is a performance business. So, and and these players understand that as well. Are you the guy responsible for who plays how much in the preseason, and, and how much of a puzzle is that going to be for you? Um, you know, I can't say I'm a guy that determines that. Coach Rabel, uh, he'll he'll determine that, um, and I'll just implement the plan. Oh, it's all fundamentals. Those guys are young players. Uh, typically, with younger players, it's the fundamentals that, that, that need to be developed. You know, pad level, um, getting them to understand how to come out of breaks. Um, you know, being consistent in how we catch the football, attacking the football. Uh, all the little things that go into making you a solid player. That's what we're working on right now with those guys. Um, no, I, he, his mindset was to compete. He understood that you know that's what it was going to be about for him. Um, I can't say that I'm surprised, um, but what I will say is uh, you know I, I love the fact I love his competitive spirit and his toughness. Um, and I think whenever you have a big guy like that that plays fast, it shows up on film consistently. How do you, uh, you guys see so much single high because of Derek. Mm -hmm. what, what's that allowing people to stay in that? To do with and, and I, you know, we'll see. I think um, you know we're going to be in a situation where we do get singled up. We're going to have to take advantage of those or those opportunities. Uh, but we'll see how teams play. But I think for us, it's just about us executing and taking advantage of the opportunities we get.